Hello guys and welcome to the third battle of the week. Sorry for delaying this a ton. It's IFM here and we bring you the game between JCP Dragon Sex, I mean Dragon X, and uh, my good friend Pearl. Now they're playing in the Wi-Fi UU tier. Um, this is post Roserade test ban, so no Roserade going around. The metagame is a little different. So it starts off here, um, Snorlax against Arcanine. He gets the uh, Will-O-Wisp up, uh, making Snorlax put in a bad situation because eventually it's going to have to rest because Pearl's running the uh, standard special defensive set with rest, sleep talk, whirlwind, and body slam I believe but with the will-o-wisp up it means the body slam is not going to be doing much damage to pretty much anything so he's going to have to rest at some point so JCP takes advantage of that rest turn, brings in Don Fan right here, gets a chance to set up some stealth rocks as Pearl has to switch out to his Omastar. So Don Fan gets the rocks up and Right now you're sitting with an Omastar against a Don Fan. Now Omastar is a ground, water rock and he brings a Scald in on Don Fan. Now Don Fan responds with Earthquake right here. Thinking JCP might have predicted the uh, Stealth Rock of the Spikes from Omastar. So he went for the Earthquake trying to take it down and kind of backfired for him because now Don Fan is on some pretty low health and Omastar has a chance to get some um, hazards up by itself right now. Gets the Stealth Rocks up right here. And um, JCP is going to have to leave slow bro in, and it's going to allow Omastar to get two layers of spikes. Now that's really important because later on in the match you're going to see that those spikes are going to come back to really haunt JCP. But right now, so he's got the one layer up, he goes to the Psy Shock right here, which doesn't do a whole lot because Omastar is more physical bulky than it is especially bulky. So gets another layer up, slow bro goes for the Scald right now. It's going to. Um, Fain Omastar and it's 6-5 to JCP but JCP's got a lot of hazards on its side and considering that uh, Pearl has a save lie it's going to be very difficult for him to spin it. So Pearl sends in his Rotom right here. Just uh, JCP's going to Cradley, uh, probably to take the predicted Volt Switch or Leaf Storm. Takes it like a boss there and makes JCP, uh, excuse me, Pearl switch out while well, uh, Cradley's just sitting there. So. JCP's got a free turn right now. It's really important how he uses it, but unfortunately he goes for the rock slide and misses Heracross. So Heracross basically gets a free switch in right here, and Cradle is pretty much uh, screwed. So JCP goes with the uh, excuse me, I'm tired right now. Pro goes with the close combat, knocks down Cradle 5-5, five, five, and right now most Heracross and UU they're normally a choice set. So JCP thinks he's locked into close combat. Hey, slow bros is safe switching. I can go and I can blast the other team with a Scald, maybe get a status up with Thunderwear. But bam, Megahorn right here. JCP is just like, ah, I'm screwed in the chat. You can't see it, but that really just expert belt Heracross really screwed him up because he was expecting Pearl to have to switch. But to pull that on him, it was just, it was, it's pretty bad for JCP. So now he gets Arcanine in here. Unfortunately, he's using the Intimidate physically defensive set so he's able to take a stone edge from uh, expert belt Heracross and recover off the damage with Morning Sun. But right now he's sitting in a pretty bad position because he's got stealth rocks and two layers of spikes up on his side and Heracross can pretty much wreck his team outside of Infernape. So Pearl then goes to Altaria who's his main switch into Arcanine and you don't see a lot of them in UU. They're pretty uncommon but Pearl's been trying to uh, bring this new set in. It's got Heal Bell Roost, I believe Dragon Claw, and one other move. Sorry, is not really used in the battle, so I wasn't able to tell what it was, but either way, it walls Arcanine to hell and back out there, so not much JCP can do, and he's going to have to switch eventually, because if he just stays and keeps Will O Wisping and keeps Flare Blitzing, it's not going to do much. He keeps trying, but not really much going for him out there, and Altaria can just get back up to 100 health and put JCP in a very tough position because he doesn't really have anything to break Altaria right now, at least out there. So Pearl's going to send in Snorlax right here, probably hoping to get like a Paralyze up with Body Slam or something because that would really screw over Arcanine, making it much easier for Heracross to get past it. But either way, he gets the burn on Snorlax, meaning he's going to have to rest eventually again in the future. So Snorlax goes out there and it hits by a flare blitz, goes to the body slam. Fortunately, he hasn't able to get the para, and it brings him down. 
to just above 50%, meaning that the next turn it's probably in his best interest to rest. If he doesn't risk a critical hit that could take out Snorlax, so goes to the rest right here. JC Pre brings in Donphan, and thankfully for him, it lives with 1% health, which is pretty damn lucky if you ask me. Leftovers takes it back up to 6, which means it was probably extremely close, maybe 1, 2 HP left. And so he's got a couple options. Could he rapid spin? But no, he knows that. Pearl has uh, saved life from the team preview, so he goes to the Earthquake, but just just comes up short, 48%, and the next one, it's just not going to be enough to take out Sableye, and right now JCP is pretty much screwed because he's able to, Pearl's able to take out his spinner right here, and he has no way of getting the Stealth Rocks and those spikes up, so Weavile takes just under 50 per, just under 50 percent damage when he switches in Togekiss his other mon takes 25 and then Arcanine takes just under 50 so they're coming in with almost no health and it's very difficult for them to do anything now he goes to the ice shard here predicting the will-o-wisp from Sableye because will-o-wisp has plus one priority with prankster and ice shard because Weavile is faster it'll outspeed it but um, Pearl recognizes that makes a smart switch to Snorlax and he just leaves Snorlax in against Togekiss. Now the reason he does that is actually to try and just get Snorlax out of the picture because he doesn't need it anymore because JCP's last three mounds are Arcanine, Weavile, and Togekiss. So all he needs to do is just let Snorlax die, take a little bit of health from Togekiss, and just send in Rotom H. Excuse me. Rotom C. Sorry. And just Volt Switch away because nothing can take a Volt Switch and as long as he can just get a few of those in, it's pretty much free picking for Pearl out there because he can take out Weavile with Heracross, he can take out the other guys with Bolt Switch, and there's not much JCP can do outside at this point except for some insane hacks and maybe somehow his Togekiss outspeeds the uh, Scarf Rotom C, so he's just gonna leave Snorlax in right now because he recognizes that he doesn't need Snorlax and he wants a free switch into Rotom. So he lets it get flinched, lets it get hit by that uh, air slash and just just sits in there like the big fat fat man he is I guess and right here I think he finally is able to get a body slam off doesn't get the paralyzed but he doesn't need it because Togekiss isn't going anywhere anytime soon and unfortunately uh, Pokemon nerds favorite Pokemon right here Snow actually dies in this turn but it lets Pearl get into his end game plan Sending in Rotom Z here, the Scarf Rotom Z. So he just needs to Volt Switch against Togekiss, and something's going to die. And once something does die, there's not much you can do. JCP decides to sacrifice Togekiss and let Pearl switch in whatever he wants so he doesn't have to take an extra layer of entry hazard damage. So Heracross comes in, and Arcanine comes in to face it. Because of the Stealth Rocks and because of the two layers of Spike, he takes under just 50% damage putting him in Stone Edge KO range. So really, right now, Pearl's got this game outside of a Stone Edge miss, which fortunately for him it hits. Normally, as you guys probably know, it's known as Stone Miss, but right here, Stone Edge hits, and JCP's, um, can't talk, um, JCP's Arcanine goes down, forces in Weavile with 14%, lose that choice band, but right now it's not even gonna matter because Heracrest has this game wrapped up, Rotom has this game wrapped up, wrapped up, Altaria has this game wrapped up, and Sableye also has the game wrapped up. So there's nothing JCP can really do here except just hope for the best and know that the worst is probably coming. And he goes down, and that concludes this battle of the week. You got to see Pearl really donk my friend JCP. And we'll bring you the next one next week. I believe it's 4th Gen OU at some point. Thanks for watching. This is IFM.